CrossFit and Sex is a place where people become the best version of themselves. This has been the mantra since I started the gym 10 years ago. I wasn't looking to start a gym. It just kind of happened. Started in my garage at home, myself. The garage is completely emptied out and just took a full gym. We did have a rig up in here, wall balls outside. Lift a barbell on the sidewalk. And I would see him running to the mailbox and doing his workouts on the street. Kettlebell swings in the front lawn. We would squat on the grass in the front of the house. So people would come by walking kids in a stroller, walking their dogs and like ask me if I had cards. <laughs> so I decided to actually start a CrossFit gym. He opened the gym the week before Luca was born. We started out lifting weights in the garage and trying to survive that. And it's been a journey and it's been incredible. Within a month, I've made so much progress and I could see it and I could feel it. And there was no turning back after that. I was training almost everyone on my street. and I was training a bunch of people in the community. We would do workouts in the driveway. We would pull sleds down the road. We were running around the neighborhood and people were looking at us like we were crazy. It was getting very busy on the street. He knew that he needed another space. And that's when he started looking for a location. So that's where he got One Church Street. He got this location. It was just the bottom, so just the lower floor. And the location was pretty small, right? So it was just, I think, 1,500 square feet. And I remember, I think we had 12 people at the time in class. And it was, it was tight, but it worked. When I was 17 years old, I stumbled upon what was essentially a little concrete box. I had no idea what CrossFit was, but I was welcomed in with the most open arms, and it has honestly changed my life forever. No matter what my day's like, no matter what's going on, walking out of that gym always makes me feel better. Yeah, I love this place. It's just like a sweet little garage gym. There were more people that were coming, so he made the choice to expand and take on the second unit. But it was a load-bearing wall, so he cut through the front part. He actually enjoys it, like he likes it a lot, because then you have that wall space for the rigs and uh, for wall balls, so it actually worked out. Phil was always either at work or at the gym, and then at some point we were like, you have to pick one. He handed in his resignation at the school board. They thought he was crazy, told him to think it over, but he said, nope, this is what I want to do. Later that week, we found out we were pregnant with our <laughs> third child. He never does things easy. Sill never wanted his gym to be too big. He enjoys the small family feel of the gym and the sense of community. Oh, yeah. I got two months. The gym is just full of really good people that you want to surround yourself with. You guys don't realize how amazing you are and I'm so proud of you guys and I feel so blessed to have all you guys as members of my gym. I, I, I can't believe how great of a community we have and how hard you guys work. And just know that God loves you, I love you, and everyone at CrossFit N6 loves you as well. When it was time for COVID and we couldn't be there, it was really hard. Um, and keeping the online classes. Good morning, everybody. Coach Sil here. Good morning, everybody. Really gave a way to connect with people. Hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe. Hope you guys enjoy this wonderful weekend. We're gonna do this like a family workout. I hope you guys are doing well with your kids at home. Ella just cut her hair. Let's go outside, Billy. Oh man. Joy's gonna jump in and start the workout. Oh, look, it's the N6 crew, y'all. I remember that day, Jill had called and said, when you start filming, just open your garage door. We heard honking and like cars coming down the street. Holy shit, there's so many of you. <laughs> hey guys. Hi, Mihaela. That was definitely something he would never forget. Oh. 
You're so nice. The community at N6 is probably the best part. I basically joined a family and I made so many amazing friends. The members are just the best. The community that Syl has created is amazing. It's my home away from home. It's my second family and uh, yeah, I, I, I can't say thank you enough, so. Thank you, Sil. Thank you, Sil. Thanks a lot. Ten years has been great. Every day I'm getting older, but every day I'm getting fitter. Thanks. Thank you, Sil, for teaching me everything I know about CrossFit and always pushing me. Thank you for everything. I appreciate all the hard work that you've put into us over the past few years. And honesty has always been a thing for you, so thank you for always being straight up with me and everyone around the gym. You are so loved and so appreciated. Thank you for being such a big part of my life. And here's to 100 more years of uh, celebrating anniversaries. Sorry, I'm such a big suck. Thank you. Love you. I can't even thank you enough for one, creating this space, but every little thing that you've done for me along the way. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Good. Okay. You've truly changed my life. So thank you. So, way back when, you told me that your passion was to make people healthy and to make a difference, and you have. The confidence that you've given people, the strength that you've given people, the health that you've given people is invaluable, so thank you. How should I stand? What are the, the pockets? That's casual. Yeah, you can tell the gesturing. Happy 10 years. <laughs>